Right now, I'm gonna show you how to post video using Meta Business Suite, including how to add captions, custom thumbnails, and another tool that can save a massive amount of time that I see almost nobody using. And by the way, if you're just uploading your videos to Facebook and just hitting publish, they are not doing as well as they could. Meta and Facebook have given us a bunch of cool tools that we'll run through right now. And heads up, this is about uploading regular videos to Facebook, but if you wanna upload reels, I've linked to a tutorial on the screen or in the description of this video that you can click on at any time. So first, how to access Meta Business Suite. And by the way, you can skip ahead to any section by going to the description and clicking on any of the timestamps. I know you are busy and I wanna respect your time. So to access Meta Business Suite, all you have to do is go to business.facebook.com and assuming you are logged in to your Facebook account, you should see this come up for your Facebook business page. Probably also good to mention that Meta Business Suite can only be used to post to Facebook business pages or Instagram creator or business profiles. You can't post to a personal profile here as of this recording. So now that we're here, we're gonna click on create post and you can see yours might look a little different. I've got my Facebook business page and my Instagram connected. So I'm gonna click on create post and it's gonna bring up this posting interface. And so the first thing to do I suggest is to upload your video simply because that's gonna take a few seconds anyway. So I'm gonna click add video. You can upload from your computer or from file manager. This is if you've already previously uploaded videos to Facebook, or you can create a video from an image. So the most common is gonna be uploading from your desktop. So I'm gonna click on that, choose my video, and it's going to start showing a preview right away. And then it'll also start uploading. And up here, you'll see a little status bar as it uploads, depending on the size of your video, and of course, your internet speed. While that's uploading, if you find these tutorials helpful, what we do on this channel is we help business owners reach more people and get more sales from social media with less work because most entrepreneurs don't have 40 hours a week just to spend on social media, right? If that sounds like something you'd like in your business, take a second, hit subscribe, click that bell. That way you'll be notified so back here in Meta Business Suite, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that you are posting to the right place. So I can click this drop down, and I have my Facebook group connected here or the Instagram account or the business page and we are focusing on the business page in this video, but choose whatever is appropriate. Next, you need to give your video a title. This is required. So this video we're gonna call TikTok versus Instagram which is better for your business. Now, when you're choosing a title for a Facebook video, it's not like Google or YouTube where people are necessarily searching for lots of things. So I would focus on a title that I would call click worthy. What is something that they're going to want to click on versus a phrase that they might search for? So I like what we've got there. And then you can add a description if you'd like as well. Did my voice just screech? <laughs> Did I just go through puberty again? So you can add a description too if you want, totally optional, but but this is a place where you can provide more context and people know that the video is gonna be worth watching, maybe tease something that's coming up in the video. Next section down here is the thumbnail. Now, if somebody is just scrolling through the feed on Facebook, depending on how their settings are, they may see a thumbnail or they may simply see the video start playing automatically. So some people that wanna save on their data plans have a setting where they don't autoplay the videos. So this is where your thumbnail can be really enticing and get people to wanna to click and look at your video. Now, the other place people will see the thumbnail is if they go to your page and they click on, let's say the videos tab, then all of your videos will appear here. And as you can see, I don't usually do thumbnails on here, uh, at least not custom ones, but a good thumbnail, again, can get people to click through. So if you want to follow all the best practices, definitely worth uh, taking a second and figuring out the best thumbnail. So I might scroll through and choose, like it's hard to see on the screen, but this one, I've got kind of my head turned and maybe it looks a little bit more interesting. You know, there's only so much you can do from this. But that's one way to do it is just choose one of their suggested ones. The next tab here is to choose a frame. And so this is gonna be where you can actually choose from anything in the video. So this is where it shouldn't take you too long as long as you don't get stuck in perfectionism and you can make a big difference without having to create anything custom for it. And I come over here and I click choose frame and it opens up this window and I can literally scroll through my entire video and choose any frame of the video that I want. So <laughs> I can just kind of click around and hope for the best. That's okay. looks like I'm explaining something. Uh, other times you might get <laughs> terrible looks, which I often get, like, I don't know what, what I was talking about here, but you can click around or slide around. Uh, the main thing I would say is look for something where you're, if you, if it's your face, your face is conveying emotion. Um, don't remember what I was doing here, uh, or 
anything curiosity inducing, right? Like somebody might click on this and they go, why is he holding his arms up? And his, you know, why is he holding his flabby little arms up? So um, basically choose something so that you like, and then that will become your thumbnail. I like this one because it's got the TikTok and Instagram logo there on the screen. So I'm going to say save thumbnail. If you change your mind, you can click choose a different frame right there and change it again. And this is where if you created a custom image in a different app, like let's say Canva is what I use, then you could actually go ahead and upload it here. So for example, here is a thumbnail I made for this video when I put it on YouTube that I could add to this one as well. Under here, it says show more. If you want to tag anybody in your video or do a collaboration, which means it would go out to actually both your audience and somebody else's audience. And by the way, you can also do this where it's your audience on one page and your audience on another page, if that makes sense. Then you can turn on this little toggle and then you can go through and look for a collaborator or you can put in the URL, the web address for their page or anything like that. And you can add them there. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave that off for this video. So that was create. Next, we're gonna go to optimize. You can click optimize or you can just click next, the obvious blue button there. Um, so next up, we have captions. Definitely recommend adding captions. Studies show that 85% of Facebook videos are watched with the sound off. So if you have closed captions, you're gonna get a lot more people that may get engaged in your video. And if they really like the first few things you say and they read them in the captions, they may even turn the sound on. I've actually sometimes been watching a video on Facebook with the captions and then I'm like, oh my gosh, I wanna hear this, but I'm somewhere that I can't have the sound on and I've gotten my headphones out just so that I can hear that video. So that's the difference that captions can make. You can see they are checked by default. And if you click on settings, it's gonna go ahead and start generating the captions. It goes relatively quick here. And then if you wanna make sure they're perfectly correct and accurate, you can click this little box right here. And that way they will not be able to see them. Nobody who watches your video will be able to see them until you approve them. Now, if you are, uh, you know, getting this done ahead of time, you'll have plenty of time to approve them before they go live, or you can edit them. At a minimum, I suggest just putting up the default auto-generated captions, that's better than nothing. But if you wanna be more accurate, I love to use a service called Rev. You can find the link for it in the description of this video, where they'll actually have a human write your transcript or your subtitles for you, and that way you know that they are accurate. And then they'll give you what's called an SRT file, which you can upload right here instead. But I found Facebook's auto generate captions to be pretty good. So you can see here, they'll actually tell you how good that they came out basically on how well they were able to determine what was being said in the video. If you want to review them, you can click on that, go through and make edits if you want. Again, this you can really get stuck in the weeds with this. And so that's why most of the time I'm just like, yep, auto generated captions, those sound perfect. So when you're done, hit done. Next up, video optimizations. Now this one, if you turn this on, it's basically gonna give you a couple of options here. One is to automatically generate a preview of your video's most interesting part to show before it starts. And so what this does is it will, instead of showing, you know, if somebody starts seeing your video, instead of showing the first five seconds during the first five seconds, it'll actually show a second or two of the most exciting part, and then it'll cut to the main video. I think that's actually pretty great because it's more likely to grab somebody's attention. So I like to turn that on. If you want to preview them, you can do that here. And then smart cropping, I'm less enthused about because what it does is it'll take your video and it'll crop it to fit better on different sizes. If your video is high enough quality, then this is easy and can be great. But if it's not very high quality, then what you run into to is uh, they crop your video down and then it looks pixelated. So just something to keep in mind with that. And then down here under advanced, basically it lets you customize these. So I usually turn off smart cropping. I'm already making the video in the size and the dimensions that I want for that platform, but I like the smart preview. So I'll usually leave that on. Click done at the bottom. Then I'm gonna click the blue next button down here at the bottom to keep going. This is a new tool here at the top that I wanna come back to here in just a second when I also show you a massive time-saving tool. But um, down here, now you can choose, okay, I wanna share now and uh, put it up right away. You can also choose schedule when you can choose the time or the date if you want, if you want it to expire. So basically, let's say it's a video for something that's only going on for three days or a month or whatever. You don't want it to be on your page after that. Then you can click schedule expiration. You can choose a date for it to come down, which is kind of neat. Or if you're just not ready to publish yet, maybe somebody needs to approve it you can click save as draft instead. So I'll leave it on share now for now. They will check your video for copywritten content. So hopefully you own everything that's in your video, any music you've used or anything like that. This next section is called distribution.
distribution. This is basically where do you want them to show your video? Now, generally, it's like, hey, wherever you want, Facebook, right? So the first one is, do you want it to be shown in the feed? And so you click show on feed. Do you want it to be shown on the Facebook watch page, which is a different tab on the web browser and in the mobile app? And uh, are you okay with people embedding at other places or maybe you wanna embed it on your website, then you wanna have allow embedding turned on. And this last option, which is not turned on by default is add as secret video. And if we look at that, secret videos are only available for embedding and for people who have the link. So maybe you don't want it to show up in any feeds whatsoever. In that case, uh, you just wanted to embed it on your website and you're using this as a place to you know, host your video, um, then that's what you would check. Uh, add a secret video that of course turns off feed and watch. You also have an option to turn off reactions, comments and shares if you want to. In general though, I'm gonna always have these first three on and the last one unchecked. Next set of options down here, allow other pages to post. If you turn that on, you can actually search for other pages and these could be pages that are yours or that are owned by somebody else and you can both post the same video because it will actually combine the views. So if on one page, the video gets a thousand views on another page, the video gets a thousand views. Everywhere it shows, it'll show it as 2000 views which is kind of cool. If you want to use a playlist, you can do that uh, to kind of organize stuff on your business page. It's not really common for people to, to watch playlists as much on Facebook, let's say, as it is on YouTube. But if you wanted to have organization with your videos on your business page and you're posting lots of content, it's a great tool to do that. Tracking, this would just be an internal thing. If you created a lot of video content, you could add a custom label to it there. Again, most people probably won't use these. Uh, raise money. If you wanted to add a button to raise money for a nonprofit or a fundraiser, you can do that as well. Now, just before we share, I want to come back up here and I want to show you this uh, feature they just added. This is where you can take your regular Facebook video and you can create a Facebook reel, which generally will get lots more distribution and reach and have it link back to your full video. And so what would happen is you would turn this on and I'll tell you right now, it's still a little buggy. And so we're not going to go through all the steps, but if you want to play with it, you can, but you can turn this on and you can go through and essentially choose a frame uh, uh, for the thumbnail. You can choose what section you want up to 90 seconds in here. And so basically if there's one piece of your video that would be really good, you can have that as its own separate video and then have it link back to the full video, which is kind of neat. This is also brand new. I haven't tested this yet, but it looks like you can also click upload video. And therefore, if you had created a reel that also referenced this main video that we're uploading, you could have that there as well. So again, it's new, it's been a little buggy for me so far, but a very cool tool uh, once it's working because you can get people to you know see one of your reels which gets lots of exposure and then go back and watch more of your full videos. So once you're all set, you'd come down here, this little earth thing, this is a privacy setting. And so if you wanted to restrict your audience in some way, you could play with that. But generally everything on a Facebook business page is public. So that's gonna be defaulted to there. And you would hit share and it would upload, simple as that. We're back here on Meta Business Suite. And if I click more here, and go down to bulk upload videos. If you created a bunch of content, you're batch uploading it and things like that, you can come here and you can basically upload up to 50 videos at once. So then you can take those and then turn them into the actual post that will have the videos. Massive time saver if you create a lot of videos on Facebook. All right, if you wanna learn more about uploading reels to Facebook, which are those vertical videos that people watch on mobile and they're very, very addictive, but they reach lots and lots of people. I've linked up to a tutorial on the screen right now for that, or if you've been wondering, uh, do I have to make reels for my business? Learn why that is so important for businesses and every business should be making reels if they can also on the screen right now. Thank you so much for watching. You're not only supporting me, but also my two tiny superheroes at home.